Hey guys, Rick Denham here with Holy Moly Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about a fun alteration to a very effective long-standing lure from Yakima Bait. We're talking about the rooster tail here, and uh, this is something that has been around in many tackle boxes, caught thousands and thousands of fish across the country, and uh, works great on so many different species, but originally this 16th ounce size was designed for trout specifically and with it being designed for trout it's set up perfectly and you can make a few modifications whether you want a single barbless for rule restrictions or whatever you may want to do you can do it with this rooster tail and lately I saw a couple posts out there of people adding double hooks for trolling for kokanee and trout with it and I thought I'd show my take on this and how really you can make these an effective kokanee lure for trolling. So all we're going to do today is we're going to be looking at a 16th ounce rooster tail and looking into how to make that a effective kokanee lure. Alright so let's take then a look at what this modification is going to be. We take our rooster tail in front of us here, and all that we've done is we've clipped off the treble hook underneath, added a split ring, taken a number eight size Gamagatsu Siwash, and a number four Gamagatsu Octopus hook. This happens to be UV. Add a little bit of crystal flash if you really want to and that's it. Then you put that on the leader you want behind your dodger and you got a silver plated blade with a little 1 16th ounce body so it's going to give it a little weight to flop around and really fish well in the background. You can add your maggots, your corn to the top hook and then you have the back hook as a stinger, a very effective lure that can be trolled for both trout and kokanee with attractors or just by themselves. So in order to get this started, I've kind of already gone a little bit ahead of the game and got some things set up. But for components wise and what you will need, like I said, you're going to need first off your rooster tail itself saw this one and I thought this is going to be absolutely a money one for Lake Roosevelt so your rooster tail you're going to need some size 8 siwash hooks that'll focus up there gamagatsu and then you're going to need some kind of colored octopus hook I ran out of my gamagatsu so we just got some of these new ones from Eagle Claw, really impressed with them so far. They look great. And uh, that's what we got right now a couple different colors green, orange, and pink. So you can contrast match it up to the specific spinner itself as a trailer. You're then also going to need some little tiny split rings. These happen to be a size zero but a size one is about perfect I believe that's 15 or 20 pound strength um, so these are going to be what you're going to need to attach with the open eye side wash and then you're going to need some kind of braid to connect the two hooks together I use 30 pound test and cut up a pretty good chunk that way you can have the swing hook rig like I've shown in previous videos a split ring pliers and another plier with some kind of wire cutters to cut the hook off once you have your supplies we'll get started I've already gone ahead and assembled one there for that orange one and we'll get it to focus in but you can see split ring on the top of that open eye side wash Got the hook ready, got our tinsel tied in, now we just got to clip off the hook here and get started. So we will open up this rooster tail, 
And this is an orange sparkle brass blade with a silver sticker. I saw this one and immediately was thinking Lake Roosevelt, our home waters of Lake Stevens, and especially Chelan. This color will be great. So, we'll get this close up. That treble hook is just on the wire there, so we're going to have to snip it. We'll take our pliers. I wish I had my wire cutter here, but I left that elsewhere and to get it you cut cut that off now we have just spinner body we haven't cut anything on the wire form itself so now you just have the body there we will then take our already assembled unit and it also pays dividends to assemble these ahead of time. You can easily tie them up and I'll show you guys how to do that in another video if you want to see it. Those hooks are very sharp. So take your split ring plier, we'll get it to where we can open it up. So we got the split ring plier opened up, we're going to go to the eyelet here on the underside, lock that in. And then it's just getting it to thread on. Amidst all of the bucktail. And once that's on, guys, that is as simple as it is. We got it on there. Now you're rocking and rolling with a really effective and good looking rig to go catch some big kokanee with. So there's your orange. Now I happen to have one for chartreuse ready. Just have to add the split ring to this down here. So I will just quickly attach the split ring on it and we'll open up that new silver chartreuse that I picked up. You can find your rooster tails at any of your local tackle shops. I happen to find these Fred Meyer when I was grocery shopping. Ted Sports Center has them locally here. Um, really guys, Walmart, anywhere will carry these. You open up your sidewash to the eye. Got our split ring on there for the green. Open up the package of the green silver. This one is what they call the tuxedo blade. So it has a cool sticker on it as you can see there silver the brass back looks absolutely killer we'll pull back the bucktail get our pliers in here this way we make sure not to cut anything that's not what we want. So open that up. Then we'll go over here. Find our
opening on the split ring, thread it on over, set that down, and there you go guys, adds a little bit of flash, a little bit more color, now you have an effective kokanee spinner using the very well known rooster tails from Yakima Bait. So go pick up a few of these yourself guys. This really makes it show how versatile these uh, Yakima Bait rooster tails can be and the different species you can target with them. Um, I really like using the double hook rig like this for kokanee. Now it's not to say you couldn't catch fish using the standard rig there um, but those treble hooks just make it a lot more difficult over time. This gives you a better hookup ratio. So go give these a try. Go check out Yakima Bait. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Fish on.